Okay, hi everyone. Thanks for stopping by. This is Teresa with Dazzle Plans. Today we're going to be working on a laminating sheet um, for meal planning. So you need a laminating pouch and a laminator, which I'm going to turn on and let that start heating up. I'm going to set that to the side. I'm going to make a half sheet is what I decided to do. So this is um, a put together half sh of half sheets. So I'm going to find, let's see, this one's pretty, pretty light colored. I'm going to use this one. And the first thing, I just put all kinds of notes in there. I need to get some expander disc and then I can put the rest Oops, so they're easy to access. So the first thing I choose to do, um, and you don't have to do it if you don't want to, but I cut off the uh, margin with the hole punches because I'm going to repunch it anyways. And that way I don't have to try real hard to line it up or anything like that. So that being said, I'm going to turn it upside down, actually. It's a little bit crooked. There we go. Okay. So with that done, <clears throat> I am going to use um, some wellness stickers. And then this is my homemade um, stickers. It's got lots of little... Uh, icons, shopping, meal prep, different things. But I'm going to start with these stickers that I took. I wish I could remember I was going to write down. I can't remember what book I took them out of. Shoot, it's a Happy Planner book anyways. Um, so they originally looked like this, only these didn't have the gold foil on them. But they were too long for the half sheet. So I used my paper cutter and I cut off the little star signature thing there. So I had, I did have to alter them a little bit, but that's okay. So I'm going to start by, and I do seven days of meal planning at a time. And sometimes my son will eat the same thing and sometimes he won't. So I actually do um, a section or a, one for each of us and I only do dinners um, because we don't eat any other meal together don't want to start that right on the edge because I don't want to punch it if I can help it so I should have started right on the edge it's just a tiny bit over so I'm gonna go ahead and pull it back up and if I have to punch it um, then that's what I have to do, but I want them to fit. So I'm just gonna start with seven days of these. They say, what's for dinner? I made a little crease in it. Good grief. Maybe I should have used darker lines <laughs> so I could have seen them better. So, and I'm just going to alternate the colors and I'm not going to put them directly beside each other because I am going to put, um, I'm going to do like Monday, Tuesday, like that. So I'll put two together, then I'll leave a little bit of a space and I'll do two more together. I suspect... Then I'm going to have to use the back side as well. And that's fine. Um, if I don't or I just use a little bit, I will also put my grocery list on here. So what's nice about having the laminate is you can use it over and over and over. You write on it, erase it. It's in your planner. Um, you know, it's always with you. And 
I love that I can use it over and over because it's, I, I hate to just waste paper doing the same thing every day. You know, when it, especially when it's a week, if you do it on paper, <laughs> sometimes I'll rip the paper, lose the paper, whatever, and not have it. So this is great that I can just, one, two, three, four, excuse me, just pop it right into my planner. And this will fit in, you know, a classic mini or in your classic size or in your large. Um, it won't fit in a mini, 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 just a mini because it'll be too long. But that's okay. I mean, I don't need to carry it with me, <clears throat> but I do need to know where it is. What did I say that was? Five, one, two, three, four, five. So I need two more. So I am going to have to go to the back, which is fine. Can you guys hear my laminate? <laughs> They're not real loud by any means, but they do make a little bit of noise. Um, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. I definitely can't fit two more on there, so I'm just gonna flip it over. And Start this up here. And green. Okay, so that's seven. Perfect. And I have some left over if I ever want to do something different. So, well, first I'm going to use these Kelva Plan Days of the Week. Actually, I think hers are really big. I might need to find some different ones. Mm. This might work. Uh, my tweezers. So I'm going to just use this just like I just like my planner goes Monday through Sunday for the week anyway. So I'm gonna have to bring it down just a tad so it's not hanging off the top. But that's okay. I should have probably found some square ones. But I knew where these were right away instead of going and looking through. all the books that I have. Um, some of them I left a little bit more room, but that's okay. doesn't really matter that much. Almost perfect. And I definitely do all the days separate. I don't do like weekends because that just doesn't work out for the way I food prep and for the way I eat. And then this is Sunday. I'm going to move it over just a little bit so I don't went off the edge. I guess I'll put it back on the side I just I was hoping that that um, where it says notes <clears throat> would be covered up by it but this has a little wrinkle in it <clears throat> there we go I'll see if I can find something to put up there I'm sure I probably can 
All right, that's all I need out of that one for now. And these are just a, just different things that I've taken out of um, other books. Um, so they're easy to find words, you know, like there's laundry, there's scales, there's shopping. Um, I'm betting there's a food prep one in here somewhere. But I'm going to go ahead and, well, I'm going to wait on that because it, it's definitely crooked. I'm sorry. It's bugging me really bad. But I don't know if I can. Well, maybe I can. Much, much better. At least they come up pretty easy. Um, now what was I saying? Oh, I want to find a box. For the grocery list if I can just to make it a little easier to write on is it workout payday coffee I know there is shopping list so let's see if I can find a box. This is the wellness um, <clears throat> sticker book, which I really enjoy a lot. I use it a lot. Mm, my happy list, can that be a grocery list? I think I can put the shopping list right over it. bring this down about here I'm gonna keep it on the side because I might want more than one maybe like a smaller one. Oh yeah this one maybe same color And then this is a checkoff list. There we go. Okay, let's get this shopping list. And it's clear. So, I'm wondering if I white it out or if I leave it and just put this up above. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know. Groceries are your happy list, right? And they can be. That'll be okay. And then I'm just going to do a little decorating around it with... Um, these little grocery signs. First, I'm going to get rid of the plastic. If you guys haven't done this, <clears throat> it is wonderful. After you get it off, sometimes some of them don't come, some of them just fly off so easy. And then other ones you got to kind of watch and go a little bit slow. But once it's off, it's so worth it. I learned this from Desiree at Happy to Plan, the number two, um, on a tricks, tips and trick, I think that's what it's called, tips and trick video that she did not too long ago. And this was one of the things that just absolutely amazed me. And I've been doing it. I went through several sticker books for a couple days, but that got really, really hard, really fast. <laughs> so I stopped. And now, but now when I come to one that's hard to get up, <clears throat> I'll t I'll stop and take a minute and do it, um, just because it makes so much difference. 
It's so much easier. You can get them with your fingers almost every time. And yeah, it's so nice. Um, now I wouldn't mind just a little um, quote maybe. Something like that. I don't, I don't really see. There are some meal prep stickers here, which I am, they're paper stickers. I am gonna use a couple of those. And what I'm gonna do with these is I'm just gonna decorate a little bit with them. I'm gonna put this one up here at the top. And then I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna put this one at the top and this one at the bottom. And I think that's probably going to be good. I'm just gonna glance through here really quick to see if there is um, a little quote or something that I can put on there. Um, here is an eat well. This one doesn't have the sticky on. Sometimes the, they're not cut like perfect, so you just poke them through. It's not hard except for when you drop it. I guess I should have done this on my own time. What's nice about it is you can also pull them through and just pop them anywhere because now you don't have to worry about them sticking where they're not supposed to stick. So that's good. Okay, I'm just gonna cut those and I'll do the rest on my own time. I apologize for taking so much time. So this just says eat well. I didn't, get, I didn't get to where I was going, but that's okay. So I'm going to just put that right up here. Just a reminder to make good choices. Okay, I think that's good. So now we're going to grab our um, pouch here. And these are not expensive. Um, I don't believe I have them linked in my um, online links. Um, but if you can't find them and you need them, just leave me a message in the comments and I'll be happy to link them. If I'll try to remember, but my memory today is not the best. And I'm having trouble opening this. The end, it's the end of the day for me on a Friday night. So, so how these work is you just open them up and then I like to put them as close to the edge as I can, but leave just, I'm going to leave just a tiny little bit of extra room to punch since we got everything pretty tight. And then you just stick it up there um, as far as you can because I want to save as much of this as I can. And I want it to be in there nice and straight. I mean, you can trim it for sure, but like I said, I want to save it as much as I can. Then you just kind of flatten it out so it's nice and tight, or I do. Not everybody does. I feel like it helps. And then <clears throat> you just run it through your... Set it over there. You just run it through 
the laminator. This is just a Scotch brand laminator that I believe I got at Walmart. It works just fine. The pouches came from Amazon. I mean, you get like a hundred for, oh, I don't know, 10 or $11. It's not, it's not very much at all. Um, and you can do so much with these. So, like that's going through, I'm gonna grab my punch because I forgot it. So it takes about, I don't know, three, three to five minutes probably for it to warm up, um, for the ready light to come on. And then you can use it for as long as you need if you're doing, you know, several things. And <sighs> you guys know what I just did? I just ruined this side. I ran it through. You're supposed to cut it off first. I did not do that. So, lesson learned for your... <laughs> if this is your first time laminating and you want to save that side... You have to uh, cut it off first before you run it through the laminator. So, lesson learned. So, I'm just going to trim this now. And I want to trim it, you know, pretty close. But you can't trim it right up to the paper because it'll just open up. It has to be sealed. So, that looks good. I can't believe I did that. I guess I was just talking too much. <laughs> and then you just pop it in your Happy Planner punch and line it up right there. And voila, here's your punches. It's ready to go into your planner, which I don't have here. It's across the room. But it just pops in your planner and you write on it with um, wet dry erase markers. Not dry erase, wet erase. Um, once it dries, and it only takes a minute, I have one right here. Um, I use this brand mostly, Expo um, Viz -a Viz Wet Erase. Um, writes pretty smooth. We'll just write hamburger. And it takes, I don't know, maybe two or three minutes at the most to dry completely. But once it's dry, so that's not completely, oh yeah, it is completely dry. So there you go. It will not rub off. Now it will fade if it's something that you're going to leave on there for weeks and weeks. Um, but we, you know, I'll change this every week and... It'll be in my planner. Will not come off um, until I take. I usually use like um, Clorox wipes or something like that, just because I have those here in my office. Um, but just um, a wet washcloth and wipe it right off. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and have a great day and happy planning.